Growing up, I loved the holidays, and in the South, we go to the nines. With the decorations, with the traditions. We have a tree in every single room of the house. A living room tree, a dining room tree, and like trees in all the bathroom. I thought that was totally normal, but apparently that's like wacky. No sorry. I am Ivy Odom. We are counting down six wacky Southern holiday traditions. From reindeer turning into alligators and surfing Santas, we have so much wacky Southern holiday tradition ground to cover. So let's get started, y'all. This is the tea. Number six. Georgia's old-fashioned Christmas. Although some people think it's against the rules to begin celebrating Christmas before December 1st, <laughs> the town of Dahlonega in northern Georgia begs to differ. Starting the day after Thanksgiving, Dahlonega kicks off its old-fashioned Christmas celebration. Every year, this town proudly celebrates Christmas with a tree lighting ceremony, a festive market on Candy Cane Lane, storefronts decorated to the nines, and even a hometown parade. Locals and travelers flock to this town to experience a real hometown Christmas. So much so that Hallmark filmed a Christmas movie there one year. Oh my word. I love Hallmark movies. I have yet to turn my life into a Hallmark Christmas movie where I find a Prince Charming and marry him and find a husband with the snow falling in the background and Christmas carols being sung. But maybe next year. Moving on to number five, North Carolina's Christmas in July. Every summer, there's always one or two Christmas in July parties that make us reminisce of the holiday season while we drink beer in a tank top with a Santa hat on. It turns out that the Christmas in July tradition was actually started at a girls summer camp in July of 1933 in Brevard, North Carolina. The camp co-founder, Fanny Holt, thought putting on a Christmas in July party would be a creative way to enjoy each other's company and did not expect or know it was an original idea. She included carolers, a Christmas tree, presents, and fake snow to make her Christmas in July party legit. This camp tradition continued every year and eventually caught on with the rest of the country and has become what it is today. However, North Carolina can definitely claim this Christmas tradition as its own, even if it is in July the very best of everything. Christmas in July parties are so much fun. I go to at least one or two every year. I mean, what more could you ask for? You're by a pool, Christmas music is playing, lights are everywhere, trees are up, so many margaritas. I mean, margaritas aren't traditional Christmas drinks, but in July they are. Number four, Southern Christmas desserts. Making desserts at Christmas may not be wacky, but it is certainly a Christmas tradition that Southerners take very seriously. Cookies, puddings, pies, and other treats have origins all over the Southern region. From potato candy, which is a swirl dessert made from peanut butter, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract, to North Carolinian rum balls made of pecans, orange blossom, and tons of bourbon, to a trademark Georgian pecan pie. Okay, I have two thoughts about this one. First off, potato candy. I've made it once, it's disgusting. <laughs> Second thought, the real Christmas dessert that you should be making, it is a little layer chocolate cake. It tastes amazing. Some people choose cookies. I'm more of a cake gal. You do you, that's my motto. Okay, moving on. Number three, Cajun Christmas. Down in Southern Louisiana in Cajun country, folks celebrate Christmas a little differently. The story goes that when Santa Claus reaches the bayous of Cajun country, he becomes Père Noël. His sleigh turns into a pirogue, his reindeer become alligators, and he follows bonfires that guide him to bring presents to children among the levees. The bonfires are lit on Christmas Eve and most commonly found in the St. James Parish and neighboring communities. Everyone is invited to come and spectate and enjoy a bowl of gumbo together. Wow, I love this, but can you imagine? Bless Santa's heart for having eight alligators pull his ass through a canoe in the bayous of Louisiana. I mean, but there's also oyster dressing and that's amazing. So I think it's a winner. Number two, Missouri's winter wonderland. There's a reason why many have dubbed Christmas in Branson, Missouri as a must-see Christmas destination. 
This town celebrates their holiday tradition together by annually transforming the town, Silver Dollar City to be specific, into an actual winter wonderland. 1,000 Christmas trees and 6.5 million lights are used to decorate the town. Other magical aspects include a Christmas light parade down Main Street, scenic train rides, and a Christmas Ferris wheel decorated with thousands of lights for all to enjoy. This seems so Christmassy and cute, and if I wasn't deathly afraid of heights at dark, I would so take a ride on that Christmas Ferris wheel. Number one, surfing Santas. Every year at 8 a.m. on Christmas Eve morning, hundreds of surfers gather on Cocoa Beach in Central Florida dressed as Santa Claus and surf together. Although this Southern Christmas tradition is fairly new, beginning in 2009, it is certainly here to stay. What started as a funny family outing now has over 800 participating surfing Santas and gained over 10,000 spectators. This event has raised tens of thousands of dollars to local charities, including the Florida Surf Museum and Grind for Life, which is an organization that provides financial assistance to cancer patients. This is a true community event that celebrates Christmas while giving back to the community. And the best part is you can do it from the beach. This one tops the list for sure. It captures the true meaning of Christmas, gathering on the beach. Just kidding. It's all about giving back and coming together. I wish you and yours the very best of everything. All righty, y'all. That's all we have for today. I don't know what's wackier, those Southern traditions or me. Wacky? Mmm, jury's still out. But jingle your way into the comments and let us know your wackiest Southern holiday tradition. Away!